Uh, let's come in in a factory or any role is a power to anything. It could be a light, it could be sockets, it could be motors, it could be massive machinery. But what your responsibility is, is making sure that machine works by making it work safely, working of your maintenance is done it correctly, and you keep it running at all times with the least interruption to companies. On our electrical section, what we do is we start with the basic things of stripping cable. We then progress into lighting circuits. Uh, then when the person can draw the lighting circuit, we then go to a socket circuit where we do um, a radial circuit, then we change that to a ring circuit. Then after that, we move on to, to um, relays, and then finally finish with a DOL starter, which most companies use in the basic machines for motors. Uh, my name is Pavitra Balakuma and I work for Cory Riverside Energy. So I chose to be an engineer because uh, it's always interested me maths and I wanted to apply it in the real world application and I thought I can get practical experience through the apprenticeship. So the practical skills I've developed are through my lighting circuits, one-way circuit, two-way circuit, intermediate and my motor circuits. Uh, most I've enjoyed during this course is the social aspects. As we're grouped up, we get to work together as a team and it develops uh, because in industry we work together as a team. A job in electrical maintenance can take you as far as you want to go. The more studying you do, the further you go. You can become the head of a factory, you can become a head of a department, you can become a head of a company. It could come to a bigger company that could have four or five different factories and you could be responsible for full maintenance and the running of all those factories. I went down the higher education route and jobs are just so difficult to get but through apprenticeship you, your likelihood of getting a job is so much easier because of the practical aspect. 